Chapter 274, seventh level of Yuanying stage. His entire body's meridians were all penetrated and strengthened. Kang Chion couldn't help but let out a low roar. Gathering Yuan, condensing infant, the true essence in his body immediately surged, condensing into a purple silhouette in his dantian that looked just like him, but was only the size of a palm. Purple Yuan Ying, it's finally succeeded. Emperor Dan couldn't help but laugh. With the coalescence of the purple mansion Yuan Ying in Kang Chion's body, the terrifying true essence that had been wandering in his meridians suddenly had a place to go, and instantly rushed towards his Yuan Ying like a flood that had broken the levee. Under this huge infusion of true essence, Kang Chion's Yuan Ying grew at a terrifying speed, and after a few moments, it skyrocketed from its original palm size to more than a meter tall. At the same time, Kang Chion Zhuan Ying also became more solid, and its appearance looked very similar to Kang Chion's, except that the little pinkish pink face looked a little bit cute, and there was less of Kang Chion's heroic aura. However, although the Yuan Ying was small, the innate domineering aura was not diminished. He opened a pair of violet eyes and his deep eyes were filled with an endless domineering aura. This Yuan Ying was very spiritual, and he consciously operated the heavenly Tao sex technique, the heavenly canon, and began to absorb the true essence within Kang Chon's body, continuing to raise his Yuan Ying level. Will, brat, what have you comprehended Will? Emperor Dan's face was filled with surprise when he saw this scene. He remembered that Kang Chon had only reached the sixth level of the intent realm before he entered the spirit ceiling space. But at this moment, he didn't want to have comprehended Will. It's a long story. I'll talk to you more carefully after I've been robbed. Kang Chun didn't have time to be distracted at this moment. And after replying, he continued to run his gong methods and cultivate his Yuan Ying. After receiving the inheritance from the Power God Temple, his intention had already reached the 10% realm. And comprehending Will, that was inevitable any time. After condensing into a Yuan Ying just now, he poured his will into it and fused it with the Yuan Ying, thus making the Yuan Ying more spiritual and able to cultivate on its own, which was equivalent to the same thing as his second doppelganger. Originally, this was a task that could only be accomplished when one waited until the outbreathing stage. But Kang Chong comprehended his will in advance, causing the Yuan Ying he had condensed to have the same function of cultivating on its own as those condensed by those strong people at the outbreathing stage. It had to be said that this was a very subtle function, and from then on, even if Kang Tian didn't cultivate, his Yuan Ying would still cultivate on its own, causing his cultivation to rise even faster. It's the fifth layer. Surprisingly, it's not over yet. Is this going to enter the sixth layer? Emperor Dan's shocked voice came out. At this time, Kang Chan's cultivation had already been promoted to the fifth level of the Yuan Ying stage, crossing five small realms in a row at once. This kind of thick accumulation had rarely appeared since ancient times. Even the law enforcement elder, who was a hundred miles away, was filled with astonishment. It looks like it's about to cross six minor realms in a row. The law enforcement elder pondered, his mouth murmuring, HMM, a double breakthrough in flesh and soul. Such a thick accumulation does have this effect. Boom. Suddenly, a brilliant thunderbolt descended with a roar, the terrifying energy tearing through the layers of space, holding a mournful shrill, air-breaking sound, as well as a vast and infinite pressure that blasted its way in. The law enforcement elder was startled, stopping his contemplation as his gaze looked towards the location of Little Gold. At this moment, Little Gold completed the coalescence of his Yuan Ying first, to be precise. He took shape and emerged. Because demonic beasts and human cultivation were different, they didn't have a Yuan Ying and still cultivated their inner elixir. Therefore, the Yuan Ying stage of human cultivators was equivalent to the transformation stage of demonic beasts. Xiao Jin was now breaking through to the transformation stage. He gathered his huge ache body. The golden hair on his body began to disappear, and the shape of his face and head was beginning to change, 
evolving towards a human appearance. This didn't take long. It was completed in a few moments. After morphing, Xiao Jin's appearance was seven times similar to Kang Chon's. This was because Kang Chon was the first human he had ever seen, and also the person he cared about the most. So when transforming, he couldn't help but imagine Kang Chon's appearance, so much so that it affected the transformation. Although the appearance was somewhat similar, Xiao Jin's temperament was completely different from Kang Chon's. Kang Chon's temperament was a bit calm and steady, and a domineering aura loomed on his stalwart face. This was his usual state, and only when he fought would he reveal his most domineering side. On the other hand, although Xiao Jin's face is very similar to Kang Chon's, his face is a bit tender, as if he just stepped out of Heavy Iron City ten years ago. In addition, as a Vajra divine monkey, Little Gold had a straightforward and somewhat fiery temper. Therefore, although he didn't have any overbearing aura, within those eyes, he was transmitting an untamed gaze. This little monkey isn't simple either. Cultivate him properly, he will definitely be his greatest help in the future. The law enforcement elder nodded his head slightly, as he watched Little Gold take shape and come out. Boom! As Little Gold took shape, terrifying thunderbolts also descended from the sky and the dazzling light caused the surrounding rolling mountains to seemingly be dyed, with a piercing golden light, causing this space to be bright. HMPH. Watching this first thunderbolt descend, Little Gold coldly snorted. His body surprisingly did not flash, did not avoid. Nor did he defend, directly using his physical body to harden. Against this heavenly thunderbolt's bombardment, his aura was disdainful. The little fellow is quite confident, the law enforcement elder could not help but chuckle at this scene. However, Little Gold did have the money to be confident, his accumulation was not comparable to Kang Chon, but it was still very thick. At this time, his cultivation was equivalent to the fourth level of the yawning, stage of a human cultivator, spanning for a small realms in a row. With Little Gold's fleshly body, that was comparable to a treasure weapon. Coupled with the powerful talents of the Vajra Divine Monkey, at the fourth level of the Yuanying stage, he was completely capable of defeating an ordinary peak Yuanying stage at level powerhouse. Therefore, even though this thunderbolt was powerful, he did not place it in his eyes and completely resisted it with his own fleshly body. This was a frontal hard fight. In the cultivation world, the cultivators who dared to cross the tribulation like this were very rare. Almost every one of them was a supreme genius with unlimited achievements. When those ordinary people crossed the tribulation, they all tried their best to use all sorts of magic treasures and even formations to weaken the power of the heavenly tribulation. Where would they dare to use their body to fight against it? That was almost an act of looking for death. But Little Gold did him. His eyes radiated with arrogance. His whole person's aura was unrivaled. Looking out of the corner of the eye. Boom, boom, boom. The heavenly tribulation seemed to be angered by Little Jin's arrogance and actually blasted out three terrifying heavenly thunderbolts in a row at once. Swooping down with unrivaled energy fluctuations, the blazing rays of light illuminating the entire sky, wanting to destroy Little Jin in one fell swoop. Three heavenly thunderbolts. How terrifying. In the place of other peak Yuanying stage Thlaya powerhouses, the horror of not dying will also have to take off layers of skin. But Little Gold Face full of proud color, the corner of the mouth, showed a trace of disdain. His body stands still. Actually, he's ready to still hard against this bombardment. With this kind of overbearing aura, it was no wonder that even the heavenly calamity was enraged by the anger, and the law enforcement elder was somewhat speechless. Rumble. As the three heavenly thunderbolts came crashing down, the incomparably volatile energy drowned Little Gold's proudly standing figure. The boundless sea of thunder covering the entire space, the heaven and earth are blazing light. This attack was so huge that the ground where Little Gold was located was directly blasted out of a huge pit. With a circumference of dozens of miles, 
so deep that you couldn't see the bottom, and even Little Gold's figure had disappeared. However, Little Gold did not die. His aura was still present, with a low roar. He rushed out from the bottom of the pit and flew high into the sky. Looking at the sky, with a provocative face, at the robbing clouds in the sky. Rumble. Right at this moment, a vast energy fluctuation swept him from the sky, not from Xiao Jin's calamity cloud, but from the Kang Heaven, who had finally ushered in the first wave of heavenly tribulation. However, either law enforcement's elder, who was a hundred miles away, suddenly revealed a shocked expression as he saw a sea of lightning flashing thunder descending down towards the Kang Heaven below to suppress it. The heavenly tribulation of the Kang Heaven surprisingly did not come in waves, but descended together, and even more terrifyingly, it was not. 99 or 81 tribulation thunderbolts, but a sea of thunderbolts. It was estimated that there were at least 500 or more robber thunders as well, which looked very shocking. More than 500 robber thunders descended together. How shocking was this? That terrifying lightning flooded the entire sky. Countless thunderbolts flashed and bombarded in it, and the entire world seemed to have been destroyed. This time, the heavenly tribulation seemed to have learnt a lesson from the last time, directly smashing down in a single stream, not giving Kang Chon the chance to use the tribulation lightning to refine his body like last time. Kang Tion felt very shocked. As a matter of fact, he did have this kind of preparation. Using the robbing thunder to refine his body was undoubtedly a quick way to raise the level of his physical body. And he could also take the opportunity to cultivate the nine revolutions of the Zhuanggong. This kind of good opportunity did not come along all the time. Unfortunately, this time the heavenly tribulation didn't give him a chance, directly letting all the tribulation thunders descend together. The terrifying thunderbolts were like a vast ocean. The entirety of them blasted down from the skies. The boundless mighty pressure filled the entire space, causing the surrounding void to start to crumble apart. Ubrat has a grudge against the heavenly tribulation. This time it's clear that it's going to exterminate you. I don't know what other terrifying things are behind it. Emperor Dan said seriously, his brows furrowing gently. Ordinary cultivators only had to heavenly tribulation tests in their lives, one at the Jidan stage and one at the Faring stage, which was the case for him, Emperor Dan. However, Emperor Dan understood that some absolute demons would have to cross the apocalypse. Almost every time they raised a large realm, like the ten special bloodlines in the cultivation world. They were grown up step by step by being split by the apocalypse. Not only the top ten special bloodlines, some gifted demons all have to go through this step. It seems that God does not want someone to talent it. He does not allow these demons to grow up. That's why the word Heaven's Jealousy came about in later generations. Kang Chon experienced this word right now. His eyes shone brightly, his stern eyes looking up to the sky above. The sea of thunder that was about to fall, his eyes flashing with unprecedented confidence. Extinction. It didn't work last time. You still won't be able to do it this time. The corner of Kang Chong's mouth curled up slightly, a trace of coldness flashing in his eyes. Rumble. Thunder rolled in the sky. Lightning coursed through the air and a huge sea of thunder finally descended, like a sea of water. Directly submerging Kang Chon, the entire space was immersed in boundless lightning, with crackling thunderbolts bombarding everywhere. Tear, 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 tear. Thunderbolts bombarded with radiant light. Unrivaled energy penetrated the earth, and the entire space trembled. Soon, the piece of earth where Kang Chon was located directly crumbled a terrifying crack spreading out towards the surroundings, crawling all over the mountains and fields like what looked like a spider's web. In the midst of this raging and surging thunder light, Kang Chon's figure stood proudly, his physical body emitting a faint glow, his bones transmitting golden light, and the vast Kang Chon hegemony blood flowing in his body's meridians. Won't let me utilize the heavenly tribulation to refine my body. I'm inclined to do so. 
Humph. Amidst the boundless lightning, Kang Chong revolved the Nine Revolution Zhuang Gong, devouring the lightning energy that was poured into his body and using it to temper his physical body. On the other hand, his violet mansion Yuanying activated the star absorbing technique, absorbing the boundless lightning outside his body. At the same time, the Kang Chon hegemonic blood within Kang Chon's body began to boil, releasing a huge stream of life essence that mended his body, which had been split open by the heavenly lightning. He really did it. Even if the heavenly tribulation descended all of the tribulation lightning in one brain, it could not stop his determination to use the heavenly tribulation to refine his body. If anyone else had seen such a tactic from Kang Chon, unafraid they would have been stunned. This was simply not something a normal person could do. But Kang Tian had done it. It was almost a miracle.